So it's currently 7 a.m. We just got woken up by the Rangers at like 6.30 and kicked out. So we're still pretty tired. We're gonna go inside and see how much a couple bottles of water is and potentially breakfast. It's actually going to be interesting to see different service stations and what kind of different range of foods they offer. Guys, we got super lucky with the first service station. This is like a full on supermarket. So I'm gonna go probably like banana. The reason I wanna get like banana is because it's cheap. Uh, there's heaps of fiber, so it keeps you fuller for longer. It's healthier as well. Wow. Yeah, it's expensive and that's the cheapest range here, isn't it? Hella expensive. But like $7 for water. Wait, what? Vanilla. How many people usually get fruit throughout the day? Many people or? Um, I would say not many. I bet you sell out the hot food real quick, don't you? Yeah. yeah. A lot of the times we are getting hot food from service stations. And the reason we wanted to do this video also is because so many people live off servo food. Wow, that looks delicious. In there, I think we got pretty lucky because it was like, it's a petrol or gas station but it's like a supermarket inside, so this was 540. And Bose mm, smells good. Bose fruits were uh, 545. Yeah. And then water was seven dollars. So I'm curious to see like who gets hungry first. I know you're a bigger guy and you get hungry quicker. I'm happy with this. <laughs> it costs the same, so I feel like this is actually a pretty interesting video because as yeah, as you did did say, like people are at petrol sessions every day. Yeah. We've seen families of Aboriginal communities. They literally live, they don't go to the supermarket, they spend their whole check at the service station. Mm. I wanna see how expensive it is if you just eat at a servo. I'm actually really interested to find out. Mm. Dude, it's got cheese through it. This is literally homemade. Oh. How's that apple gone, bruh? <laughs> oh, it's actually good. I feel like fruit in the morning is not too bad. Yeah, I like fruit. Let's head to the caravan park and then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. I, we just rocked up to the caravan park. Uh, we have to stay at the caravan park because those rangers said that if they catch us again, it's going to be another $175 fine, which um, reminds me, I wanted to thank Michael. Thank you so much. Uh, he paid for our last fine that we got with uh, when the rangers last charged us, which was $100 through Patreon. So Michael, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, but it really did help. If you guys are on Patreon, make sure you jump on Patreon and come support us, boys, because all your money goes to everything that you see in these videos. So the deal with our Patreon, guys, is once you subscribe, you're going to get all the behind the scenes. <laughs> And guys, as of yesterday, we're actually posting every single day on our Patreon behind the scenes. Yesterday, we just went to the beach, had a chill beach day, filmed a little bit, chucked on Patreon. So subscribe, guys. It's like a packet of chips a month. So once again, a big thanks to Michael. And yeah, let's continue. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you get so I can do it? Um, yeah, viral rooftop tent and uh, just a little... So we've been out in the bush for about two weeks now and I've just been attacked like everywhere all over my body and it's really bad it's really itchy and Brooke scared me he said something about like oh you can get malaria but I'm not feeling the symptoms so I'm looking forward just to staying in like a park where it's a little bit more controlled less bugs as well and just like hot showers with soap a bit to get away from the outback because it's really really just demolished me just checked into the caravan park but they're not taking us into 11 so we're parked on the side of the road here um it's currently 9 30 we last ate at seven and we're both pretty hungry i think we're gonna be spending up once at 30 
Now that I think about it. What, 30, $30 a, day? a day? Yeah. Yeah, we're already up to 18. We're about yeah, to get well, another meal until like 9.30. And then we'll probably have lunch, then dinner, then snacks. Yeah. Jeez, I reckon this is going to be quite expensive. This petrol station we're about to go to is purely just a gas station. Doesn't have the added on little um, supermarket. supermarkets for things, so. Let's see what we can get. Let's do it. Oh. So we're normally paying about a dollar a can. How much? Three bucks. Three bucks. Might grab some of these. Not the healthiest spot. Stuff, thanks. And uh, noodles as well, thanks. Meat pie, this was $5.65. So yours was $5.25. Was it? Yeah, and mine was $5.45. This is one of my favorite meat pies. If you're in America, meat pies are probably the most popular snack food yeah. at gas stations. Yeah. I remember when I went to America, I was craving meat pies. In America, they do things Close. like apple pies, but apple, they don't really okay. put like meat in it. See, when I went to America, the only thing I felt like when I got back was a meat, meat pie, pie or a chicken pie. Meat. Yeah, or sausage roll. I love my sausage rolls too. Let us know down in the comments where you're from, what country you're from. And like, what's like a, like a food in oh. your country? <laughs> What's a food in your country that um, is big? Is that very popular that they don't have in other countries? I cannot believe we got woken up by the Rangers again. I guess one good thing is we didn't get a fine. Plus, we woke up early. Get shit done. Let's go see our Bose problem. Actually, my stomach's hurting. The back of the car was getting pretty messy, especially for all the kitchenware and stuff and pots and pans. So we went and got this big container just to have all the kitchen stuff in, which makes our life so much easier for like sorting and stuff. With like the car, we figure it out as we go. We're always changing it and putting new things in. So I think this is just like a simple bucket. It's such a big upgrade to making life a lot easier. We also bought a new pan the other day. Uh, not a pan, uh, what is this? It's a pot, pot. saucepan. In the last video, we are in Roburn and we usually like to go to libraries because it's like air conditioned and nice to edit in. And the lady there just gave us a whole bunch of coffee. So chuck that in the car too. If you're watching, thank you again for the coffee. And not only coffee, she gave us a whole container of uh, brown sugar, whole container of white sugar, some potato mix, pie trays. Um, so she really helped us out. So yeah, if you're watching, thank you. Yeah, I feel like traveling in this heat and just like moving around all the time, we're just constantly hungry, but crazy. $5.40 for that. In like a supermarket, I think it's like four bucks and you get like six. Don't touch my cup like that. Have you seen How To Basic? Nah. Oh, you, gotta, not, you gotta tell the, the food to shh. Never touch my cup of noodles like that again. This actually smells so good. Reminds me of like my childhood. We used to smash these. Well, you're clearly still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got to the uh, caravan park, staying at site 69. Right, as we're checking in, we got a uh, security warning. Lady is pretty much, we've heard it before, before we got to Broome, but there's like a lot of, it's mainly kids that come into caravan parks. Um, I feel like it's not talked about enough, um, like online and stuff, but in these small remote towns, you get a lot of kids that are just very, very naughty and they come into caravan parks, they steal stuff. Um, so she said, Make sure when you go to sleep at night, you lock your car, you get your phone and your wallet and you sleep with it because these kids will just come in and just rob you. Not a bad caravan park too. Look at this. I feel like I'm in a resort. Oh, so good. I'm looking forward to this shower though. The tides will come up super quick. Yeah. Yep. So once yeah. you're about 
three hours past the tide to get out of there. But yeah. oh, we got a bumper last night, I'll show you a photo later. We got a Trevor about that big. Oh, oh. Cocktown G, yeah. he's sick, for a fish off there, you'll get yeah. heaps of action. So, as you would have seen in that clip, that guy has G'd us up to go out fishing. So, I'm just getting to another petrol station now. Um, and Bo's left it up to me to come up with something, so I'll see what I can do. Can I just grab two of the uh, chicken salad rolls? Thank you. Chicken broccoli balls, chicken okay. cheese. Um, yeah, I'll grab two of those, thank you. So I got two rolls, and these, they're chicken, spinach, and cheese, like little deep fried things. So we're gonna add one of these in our rolls. This has already got chicken in it, so it's gonna be a big Yum. good um, And this all costed $24. So I thought I'd splurge a little bit for lunch because I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Plus, we need energy for the fishing. Hopefully we catch a fish and we don't have to spend any money at the servo. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Brooke loves this content. <laughs> no. You gotta chill, bro. Park over there now. Get this in you. <laughs> what made you think of getting like two objects and putting it together? Oh, I was thinking more like more volume. <laughs> Spinach. Yum. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's almost better than like a KFC burger. Oh, I'd take this any day, man. Yeah. Woo! So I want you to pause the video right now. Go get yourself something to eat and come back because I know this is making you hungry. Look at that. I love it. Eat I it. I love it. Eat it. <laughs> All right, let's smash these and let's go. Hopefully catch the Trevally. So we're just on this jetty here. We came to the start. There was this kid at the start of the jetty. He caught a Trevally about this big. He's like, yeah, that'll be good bait. It's like I've never caught a fish that big in my life. That's a great dinner, yeah, mate. Oh, oh it's going under. Oh. Right when you pull out the camera. What beautiful, happened? Big, beautiful turtle right in front of us, just sunbaking. As soon as it pulls out the camera, it ducks dives under. Yeah, I've seen quite a few videos online of people like swimming with tiger sharks and they tend to stay away, but mm. I don't think I'd want to risk it. No, no, no. I think in the I've other only got area. My life in. It's not a matter of yellow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got reefed, both of us. Yeah, nothing but reef. We lost all our tackle again. Always happens. We're going to try again tomorrow. Look, we're, gonna, we're not going to crap on. We do not catch fish. And yeah, let's go get the servo and get some food. Wow, are you sunstroke? You kind of went paraplegic there, buddy. Food. Why else do you think I'd be here? Oh, get two for five, yeah. yeah sweet. Bo just walked down to the shops and spent $14. Two cans of Coke and a small packet of chips. Like, that small. That must mean that cans of Coke were like $5 each or something. So that was a massive day today eating and uh, going out exploring so the last snack me and brooke got pretty much just filled us up i would just love to eat a fresh fish over that like processed crappy convenience store servo food so uh, i'm gonna get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning so it's currently about 8 a.m i'm not gonna lie i probably two hours sleep the yeah, heat was, really was... bad it was so hot all night, 25, 26 throughout the whole night. But um, just went to the petrol station and spent 13.85. Yeah, this was 6.50, and this was seven dollars something. It, it is expensive, but the whole reason we wanted to do this is to see how much it's going to tally up to. So we're going to get this into us, get energy, so we can go out fishing soon. Horrible. So Bo has just gone to buy some more water. And I've just caught this. We spoke to a local the other day and I'm pretty sure these are called butterfish. So one of the locals just came past and they said these are very good eating. I've left Bo on the jetty, so I've caught four butterfish. Just at the petrol station. Um, I'm not buying food, but I'm gonna buy ice um, just to keep the fish cool. We've still got two hours to high tides, so we've got probably at least another three hours fishing. He's just showing me tactics and techniques. Yeah, Bo has no oh, idea what he's doing, so you're gonna have to show him pretty well everything. Are you from here? Nah. He's a little trooper, this one. All the, all the mates. 
This has been the best day of fishing yet. <laughs> How long have we been here? 15 minutes? There must be schools of these things down there. It's literally every drop. Sweet, we're eating. <laughs> we're eating tonight, That's mate. That's hook every single time. Foul hook. There's schools down there. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Look at all the seagulls working now. That's a nice fish. Right. This is the most fun we've ever had fishing. They've got the speakers, they're doing back ears, we're catching fish. Ain't no one on my level, ain't no one on the spread of this Regardless what they take, we're taking it back into the beginning When I'm just killing them with the battle rats Be rapping on them when I'm coming, they can handle that So me, hold me, independent boy, I'm with somebody else Man, I did it on my own, but you can't tell me no way Wait, that's my pride talking I get a little cocky when I hear the beep I get a little caught up in my ego when I'm praised by these people when they try to be If you guys want to check out the YouTube channel, uh, you're going to be on it It's uh, Gone, oh, Gone Wild Australia oh, it's gone wild Australia. Yeah, so we upload every Sunday, 7 p.m. So yeah, you're definitely gonna be on it. Subscribe for Gone Wild Australia. Hit the notification button. Hit the like button. Maybe you should do it. And comment down below. It's got to Bo's head a little. Ah. Healthy. Healthy choice. Uh -huh. Fire and a half. I'm not going to cook the last one. Did you get that vape in Broome? Yeah. You did? Really? Were they so As I'm just currently gutting these fish. Looks like they've been eating all sorts. Yeah, seaweed, a little bit of worms. Guys, I'm so hungry. Me too, yeah. Sorry, what have we eaten today? Uh, this morning we had those sandwiches and the roll in the car, and, and that's, that's it. it. Oh. Yeah. Bring the first one over here. Oh, no. One here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To the skin. Skin just peels off. Probably fill it all off right now. There you go, freshly caught fish and chips. Hungry out of 10? Oh, 10 out of 10. Mm. That looks sick. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't fill it them. Yeah. Would have been hard. We would have lost a lot of meat, I reckon, if we fill it to them. Yum. It's good, eh? Yeah, it's really good. All the flavours. Did we put the chilli in the end? Oh, we forgot the chilli. Oh, that would have mm. been good. Next time. It's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to devour the crap out of this fish. We tried to do servo food, but we caught a fish. We're eating fish. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like it, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and... If you're one of the boys that were jumping off the, uh, the pier, comment down below. Thank you guys. See you next week on Gold Wild Australia. Yo! Absolutely demolished. Well, yeah. God. They're actually pretty good eating, eh? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. You can mm, tell. Perfect. <laughs> Hello, what's going on, man? It's the Gone Wild Australia boys. It's Bo. You know that draw that we put on for the two hundred and fifty dollar Mad Keen voucher? Yeah, we just wanted to let you know that you won, man. Oh man, thank you, brothers. You're very welcome, man. So you can get your uncle some fishing shirts.